Hey guys, Proper English here, and today we're going to start to learn how to build an ALU. Now, what is an ALU? Well, ALU stands for Arithmetic Logic Unit. So, as you might expect, an ALU is a circuit that can perform arithmetic, things like addition and subtraction, and logic. This is what's at the core of a CPU. And what I've got in front of me is a basic ripple carry adder. And what we're going to do is we're going to modify this adder and convert it into a circuit that can do addition, subtraction, and all of the logic functions. We're going to do this in a couple of videos. We'll take it step by step so you can see exactly what's going on. And let's get started. All right, so today we're going to answer the first big question about ALUs. How do you make a circuit that can do both addition and logic? Well, let's start off by adding 1 plus 1. We'll turn on both inputs for bit 0 over here. So we're adding 1 and 1. We get an output of 2. But let's say we wanted to XOR these two inputs on bit 0 over here. Well, if we wanted to XOR them, we'd only want those inputs to affect the output for bit 0 over here. And the same thing for all the other bits. That's called doing bitwise logic. When we do bitwise logic, we're setting up the adder so that the inputs for a given bit, like bit 0 over here, only affect the output of that respective bit. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, the thing we're going to need to do is disable the carry. So let's take a look at how we can disable the carry in an adder. All right, so let's start off by going through the truth table for an XOR gate using bit zero. Okay, so right now this is an adder. We're going to walk through the truth table, see if it matches up for an XOR gate because we've got an XOR gate right here in the adder. And so first we've got zero XOR zero. Our output is a zero, that's good. If we do one XOR zero, now we've got a one as our output, that's good because in an XOR gate, the output should only be on when one and only one of the inputs is on. So let's see what happens with zero XOR one. Output's on, good again. But now what happens when it's one XOR one? Well, the output for bit zero is good, but because this is an adder, we're carrying over to bit one. But like I said before, we can solve that very easily by turning off the carry and all we need to do is set up a torch over here now the carry is off and bit 0 functions independently from bit 1 okay so what we can do is set that up so that goes across and works for all of our bits all right so we'll set up a line going across all of the bits throw down a torch a torch and a torch and then run some redstone across the whole line so that we can control when we're doing addition and when we're going to do logic. Set up an input, and I think we'll need a little bit of signal extension. Toss a repeater over there. And so right now, we're doing addition, so we're carrying over from bit zero to bit one. But if I flip this lever, now we're doing bitwise logic. So I'm going to take a second to set up an XOR gate truth table using each bit for a line of the truth table, and we'll see how that turns out. All right, so we've got 0 XOR 0 is 0, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 1 XOR 0 is 1, then 1 XOR 1 is 0. And you can look over here and you can see that the carryout is not on so this last bit over here would not affect anything downstream. And that is perfect. So now you've learned how to isolate the bits of an adder. That's the first step towards building an ALU because now we can do both addition and XOR. Okay, so next time we're going to learn how to start adding more logic functions. Hope you learned something and I will see you guys next time.